Welcome to today's day trading recap for Wednesday, November 10th. Uh, nice green day today, plus $910. Let's go over these and I'll show you what we did. We didn't, I didn't do a, an update video yesterday because we're testing some new strategies. So you can see I didn't have any of uh, our traditional day trading strategies uh, yesterday. Uh, I stream live in front of our community. So the only time I can really test these is, is live in front of our people. So I'm not I'm not uh, tracking, they're, they're not our traditional Mighty 90 and Runner strategies. They are using our new navigation trend trading uh, setups and indicators. And um, so just still doing some testing. Uh, we'll be talking more about that as we kind of refine uh, all the criteria that we're using. So pretty excited about that. But for now, today we are back to our regular trading uh, did three mighty nineties, all three winners, zoom plus three forty six, Twitter plus two sixty four, BA plus one ninety five. And then on the runners, just took one runner in lift and booked a small profit of one Oh five. So let's take a look at these. Let's go to lift first. That was our runner. That was our first trade of the day. Had this big push, big spike in volume. So when it pulled back here, we got long for continuation. Got out of three quarters of the position uh, up here near the top. I was, I was holding on for a little bit more uh, to get out of some rest, and then this thing just fell apart. So when it came down and bounced, I got out of my last piece. So I ended up booking a small profit. Did have a little bit more on there before it came down hard on me, uh, but still booked a profit. All right, and, uh, Mighty 90s. Took one in Zoom. In Zoom, had this big push up, big push up right into uh, yesterday's close uh, with some volume. So I got short right here. Actually, no, it was right here. Got short here first and then added here. Uh, caught this move down. Got out of most of my position. I held on to uh, one little piece just to see if we'd get a continuation lower. Didn't happen. Just kind of chopped around, chopped around. And so I ended up cutting out of my last piece in there, but booked uh, 346 in Zoom. That was my actually my biggest winner. Twitter plus uh, 264, and in Twitter, uh, Mighty90 as well was pushing up right into yesterday's close. Same thing, got short right here on that little volume pop and caught that move lower. Same thing in Zoom. I held on to one little piece just to see if we get a continuation lower, and it just chopped around, chopped around, so I ended up closing out of my last piece in that area there. Uh, still booked 264 there. And then lastly, BA. This was my last trade of the day. Took its sweet little time, but ended up working out. Came down to unchanged here with a little higher volume. Uh, got long. Started to bounce up. I almost got out of half my contracts right there. Missed it by about a tick, and then it came down. So I had to sit through all this chop. And then finally, boom, got out of half. Got out of another quarter, and then just I was done for the day. So, so cut out there. So done before 10 a.m. Central. Uh, plus nine oh, uh, what I say, nine nine ten, yeah, nine ten on the day. So, uh, been really focusing on refocusing on the mighty ninety strategy and volume. Uh, you know, I was I got I got kind of off track there for a while, while where I was only focusing on runners, and while runners have been our most profitable strategy. Uh, you also have to be selective in the ones that you take. And I, I found myself getting a little bit loose with, with the runners that I was taking and, and started to get a little bit frustrated on some of the, some of the, uh, some of the trades that I was taking. So really re refocused on, uh, volume and the mighty nineties, uh, still taking runners, but being a lot more selective and it's been paying off the last couple of weeks. So We'll continue to do that as well as continue to refine our NTT strategy, and we'll be sharing that with the rest of the uh, community. So look forward to it. Don't forget, tomorrow is Veterans Day. Make sure you pay attention to the veterans in your life, and we will not be streaming. The stock market will be open. Bond market is closed, uh, but we won't be live streaming, so we'll be back live streaming on Friday. Take care, and we'll see you then.